Hello, mic test, mic test. Morning, morning, morning. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. This is CY once again. Um, this is a very wet Sunday afternoon. Right, right now the time is about three p.m. Singapore local time. Um, while waiting for some customers to come and uh, come to our showroom for our demonstration uh, for the machines, right? I will just do a, a video, right, uh, on our Ascaso Baby T Plus, which is um, I think it's our highest spec machine currently in our showroom, right? Other than this, we do have the um, VBM Domoba Super, right? Um, the electronica version, which is the pressure profiling type. Uh, totally different from this machine and of course we have our Lily Bianca uh, both uh, both Lily Bianca and the Baby D Plus are rotary pump dual boiler kind of situation uh, for the Baby D Plus it's a bit unique because it has a boiler for the steam and then a thermal block for making coffee so um, it is efficient in such a way that you always draw fresh water from the water tank for making of coffee and then uh, they, they do have a boiler to generate the steam and um, the machine gets up to uh, temperature and ready for brew in about two to three minutes time so this is extremely fast for a commercial machine like this and uh, this is a very capable machine in fact it is very powerful and i have a little bit of trouble trying to get used to the steam one because it's a four steep steam one and i'm still getting used to uh, pulling good shot from the machine so um, it is like a it's like a beast you need to tame right so um, but having said that it's still a very interesting machine to play with uh, simply uh, because of uh, um, the the ease of uh, adjusting everything right so one of the main advantage of course is the thermal block system whereby it's uh, energy efficient i think you can see from the uh, machine uh, the front of the machine they say sustainable engineering thinking green right this is definitely in line with uh, our recent talk about reducing carbon right uh, singapore has imposed a uh, high tax on carbon and this thing actually reduces the energy use and make use of energy in a very efficient uh, way so um, i'm just going to um, try to pull a shot on this machine and maybe uh, while i prepare for the shot i will talk to you about uh, what's the advantage of this machine right uh, first of all this is a very big machine right uh, it measures about half a meter in depth um, maybe slightly less than half a meter but close to 50 cm in depth the width is about 40 cm right the height is about 45 cm i guess right uh, i can actually use a measuring tape to do the measurement uh, but uh, um, that may become later or you can actually search the specs online for the x exact dimension of the machine um, but it is a relatively big machine and the steam one when it's at off position is at the uh, what do you call this this is at a 10 o'clock position from 12 right so as you engage the steam i'm just going to show you shortly right this is how powerful the steam one is right and the steam is very consistent very powerful and uh, when you engage it it will be around at a slightly above nine o'clock position and the steam is very powerful so uh, it gets it, it takes quite a while to get used to it um and it has the entire machine has, uh, is built very very nicely in fact it looks very premium in quality right so maybe let me bring you closer to take a look at the machine and maybe let me run you through uh, what are the good thing about uh, the machine and maybe uh, i have yet uh, to really spend a lot of time playing the machine but maybe today just uh, show you how it works uh, when i pull an espresso shot and make a latte out of it and uh, I will not be talking so much about the advantage and disadvantage because it, it needs time for me to play the machine and then I can report or maybe you can relay how I feel about this machine and uh, maybe you, whether this machine is actually suits you or not, right? So let's get to the uh, more detailed parts about the machine. Right, so first of all, this is the front of the machine. As you can see, let me introduce all the different buttons so that you can get used to it. This is all these short buttons are customizable, right? Which is actually customizable uh, with an app. Really, I'll show you how the app looks like. Um, so basically, it's a single large, extra large, basically just run 
uh, in a manual situation whereby you engage and then you will start to start the short timer and you will only stop when you press this button right this is where the hot water is dispensed and you can see the hot, hot water spout is machined in a very nice uh, the machining CNC is very beautifully done and this thing is actually rotatable right uh, it, it can actually rotate so depending on where your cup is you can actually rotate this and uh, when I do the unboxing I actually uh, mentioned the wrong thing right you can see there are two buttons here which can be uh, switched on or off of course this button here is actually the LED light you can see there are two lamps here you can actually switch off the LED light if you don't need it and you can switch it on if you want to illuminate your espresso shot and things like that and the second button here as you can see right not too sure whether you can see this lighting it is actually the cup warming tray right at the top so right now my cup warming tray is actually switched off and my LED light switch on right this is a dummy light which is not activated at the moment and of course uh, next to it is actually the power button right so this is where you switch on and off the machine and yep let me get a closer shot yep this is where you switch on and off the machine so technically the three switches here each have its own purpose right and uh, one thing about the baby t plus is the drip tray is white and um, quite deep but it is rather shallow uh, because this is actually designed to be plumbed in and to be drained so that you don't have to empty this so you can see there's a drain hole there which can be attached to a drain kit which is sold separately the plumb kit is actually uh, uh, included in this machine but the drain kit has to be purchased separately and uh, let you see the front of the machine right you can see I've introduced these three buttons this is actually the hot water okay let me get a cup and show you how the hot water is dispensed basically just press this water button and then it dispenses hot water right press again to stop it right at the moment you can see there are two gauges here right of course this is the blue gauge right it has got um, zero all the way to more than 11 bar right on the right this is actually the steam pressure right the working steam pressure currently is about let me see it's about one slightly over one bar and you can see the pressure is actually very consistent so let me show you the steam again right very powerful steam one and steam right and uh the there will be a little bit of condensation that drip directly into the drip tray uh, which is perfectly fine right and uh of course this is a very very nice machine cnc steam one control uh lever right and let me bring you closer right it's very very nicely done and of course towards the back is actually where your water tank is the water tank can be slide in and slide out easily so that it is very easy for you to top water in right and towards the left hand side right um, this is where uh, what makes this machine so easy to adjust this is actually the OPV valve right uh, this is actually a cap whereby you can actually take it out inside this cap okay let me zoom in so that you can see better right i'm not too sure we can see there's actually a phillips uh, screw whereby you can actually use a phillips screw to actually adjust the steam pre i mean the, not the steam pressure the brew pressure so you can actually use a blind shot basket to test the existing pressure of the machine and then use a, a phillips screwdriver to adjust the steam, the steam pressure here so if you turn in the anti-clockwise direction it will actually reduce the steam and if you turn in a clockwise manner it will increase the steam okay so i have already installed the uh, ascaso bbt um, app on my android phone and at the moment it's already connected via bluetooth to the bbt plus and uh, where can you access your bluetooth connect password uh, with your app Right, the password actually can be located underneath the drip tray so if you pull out the drip tray it will reveal the password somewhere around that right so every machine has a unique password whereby you can actually use to connect to your app so on the app you can see there's quite a lot of things there right first of all uh, the machine is already connected so you can go into setting right uh, my current model is actually the baby t oh, okay this is not the baby t zero I have to change this model. Uh, mine is a baby, baby T plus, uh, 230 volts. Uh, my measurement will be in Celsius, right? Uh, this is now a tank one and not a plumb one. 
right you can actually off enable your steam or your coffee group which means if you are using only for making espresso and you don't want to waste energy on your steam you can actually switch it off right uh, and the mach machine state now is on at the moment uh, why is it off okay, let me go back and see connect read machine you can see it's reading right read machine okay means it's already connected so you can see here status connected to Ascaso 00708 that shows the app has been connected to the uh, machine itself right um, so in terms of setting you can see now the machine state is on okay just now probably I didn't connect to the right model right after that you can see my current steam is on my coffee group is on and my machine state is on right so everything is reflected correctly so now let me go back um, you can actually set the temperature of the machine. Currently, you can see my machine is set at 93 degrees Celsius. I would like my coffee to be slightly hotter because I use uh, quite a bit of light rolls. So right now, I'll be adjusting to 94. Uh, my steam temperature is now at 122. Uh, standby is 110. Okay, and actually, you can actually uh, activate the standby time to ask the machine to go into standby mode. Right. So, and uh, doses, right, you can actually adjust the dose of the different buttons here, right, and you can actually engage the pre-brewing, right, I'm, I will still play around with all this button, right, uh, to know more about each of what, how to actually control all this button later on, but today is just an overview, so I will not go into details of uh, all these things here. Alright, so to, um, Go back to the previous menu, right? Let me show you what other setting there is. There's actually a timer, right? So what is the timer for? You can actually time it to start. You can actually program it to start at what time uh, every day. You auto start it and then you auto shut down. You can also do a clock. Right now you can see it's actually 3.39 in the afternoon. Right, this is connected directly to my uh, phone uh, timing and they can actually send the current phone timing to the machine so that it can actually be uh, calibrated in that way right so that's pretty much what you get from the machine and of course there's a counter right uh, you can actually reset the counter to actually take note of how many cups of coffee you make on the group right so um, pretty much that's what you get in the app um, I will explore more of all these app in the future videos to share with you guys uh, about the control uh, the things I can do uh, on the app itself of course you do not need the app to actually control the machine right the machine can actually be operated by itself right so uh, the app just enhance your usability of the machine okay so now uh, without further ado let me try to uh, make some coffee in on the machine itself all right so let me go ahead and make some coffee Right, uh, I'll be pairing the uh, machine with the, of course, the F64. Uh, and again, currently my um, uh, the F64 is equipped with the stock uh, stainless steel Itamio Bro set, um, which I find really good for everyday driver. So, and I'll be using the uh, smart skill from Felicita. I've recently tried to connect the Felicita app to the uh, skill itself, and the uh, connectivity is really very simple. I find that uh, in terms of the connection to the app, uh, the Felicita is a lot easier to get connected to my smartphone than my, um, uh, what do you call that, than my, uh, what's the other one that I have? Um, okay, the other, uh, oh here, the Akaya, right? So the Akaya is uh, equally responsive, but I find that connecting to the app is a hassle. I've been trying to connect uh, using my app to the Akaya skill and without success I'm not too sure where it went wrong but I just find that uh, with the Felicita right it's a lot easier to get connected right that's my personal experience maybe I've done something wrong in the connection or the setting I'm not too sure right so let's uh, measure 18 grams of coffee Right, exactly 18 grams. 
uh, and my current grind setting is about um, I'm, I'm actually pre grinding pretty fine at the moment right I'm grinding at about 10 uh, setting on the DF64 and uh, let's see how much retention we are getting from the DF Uh, by the way, there's uh, something I want to share with everyone, right? As you know, I'm actually the members of the DF64 single dose grinder uh, that was created by Joe uh, in, the, in the US, right? And recently, I shared about my declumper design with the, uh, it's actually not PVC uh, flap, it's actually PET flap. And uh, PET is a, it's a synthetic but plastic material that is uh, totally food safe, right? Because it doesn't leach actually any chemicals into the coffee. And it's one of the most stable plastic that is used in all food packaging, right? And uh, I believe uh, your Coca Cola, your Coca Cola bottle, your a lot of your plastic food packaging materials are all packed in PET material, and uh, those are actually food safe, right? So I'm using that to cut a uh, membrane to act as a declumper, and uh, I I mean it's your choice whether you want to use it, and uh, I'm the reason for me to share with everyone this design is actually not to make money out of it it's actually more to share the design and uh, it really uh, solved the clumping issue and it even make the grinder super clean after prolonged usage right i've uh, i've, I've uh, once i installed that the pet flap uh, using the mythos um, mythos design the mythos uh, decomper design it works flawlessly and the retention has been very minimal and sometimes i don't even need to bellow right to get all the coffee ground out right so let's measure and see how much coffee are we getting out from here uh 18.0 is zero retention right uh if you're not let me show you on the right as you can see uh perhaps i should have recorded the previous reading uh then it'll be fair right but uh trust me it gets 18.0 gram in and exactly 18.0 gram out so isn't that amazing, right? So this grinder is actually pretty amazing, right? So now let's proceed to uh, prepare the coffee pot and then we make a cup of espresso. So my pot preparation is actually pretty simple, but before that, let me flush my uh, polar, polar filter because I didn't lock it up in the group. So it will still be pretty uh, cold. Right, so now the polar filter is uh, very warm, right? And the um, Ascaso polar filter is designed similarly to the Lama Soko one. Uh, as you know, a, a lot of the standard E61 group polar filter doesn't fit to the Lama Soko one. Same thing for the Ascaso, right? So you must, uh, if you are going to buy a pol bottomless polar filter for your Ascaso, such as your um, Ascaso Steel Dual PID and the Ascaso Dream, right? You may have to make sure you have to make sure that you get the right uh, one for your machine. Otherwise, it may not fit, right? So uh, let's transfer this coffee over. Give you a shake. Right, um, ground is actually pretty nice. So as usual, let me do a little bit of uh, WDT, right? Right, so you can see with WTT is actually a fluff up the coffee ground and after that let's just distribute and we tap right just to show you right um, the tamping is actually done very well right this is actually the self leveling cookie press right which I love a lot and the coffee puck screen has really been preheated right so let's make an espresso Right, let me get an espresso. Okay, this is our first shot on the machine. So let's see how it goes. The way um, the uh, Ascaso uh, Baby T Plus is a fast flow 
uh, espresso machine uh, it's different from the uh, Bianca which is a slow flow machine so the flow rate of the uh, flow rate on the Escaso BBD plus is actually a lot faster so the extractions will tend to be faster as well so it tends to give you a stronger body cup as compared to the uh, Lily Bianca so that's the something that I realized of course this is not the first shot that I put on this machine but it's the first shot I ever put on camera uh, as in uh, recorded lengthy kind of uh, video uh, I've done a couple of shots on this machine and uh, I will say most of the time I get to I get the uh, extraction that actually flow too fast I have a feeling that this shot will be quite similar right so let's uh, see how it goes sorry about the vibration so you can see the pump pressure now goes up to about uh, slightly over 10 bar which I can adjust easily right uh, the extraction looks pretty nice okay but you can see uh, it's only 15 seconds and it has already extracted about 56 grams of coffee so um, the flow is really very fast on this machine uh, I have to play with the grind setting to get a better cup but that's one thing about ratio and whether it tastes whether the coffee tastes good right is another story altogether so let me taste the coffee and then let's try to steam some milk and make a cup of latte and see how it goes That's why i'm using a larger volume milk jug to froth the milk uh, which uh, I don't normally use uh, but on this machine I just have to use that so let me purge the steam right right so let's steam some milk I'm still getting used to the angle of the machine and the, the position of the pitcher Right, it's done. Um, the reason why I say I'm getting used to it because it's normally for a weaker steam tip. A weaker steam, I usually I have to submerge the steam tip uh, just below the milk surface, right? So that uh, I will get the uh, the milk to froth up in volume. But for this machine, I have to dip my tip all the way down to maybe about one to one point five cm below the milk surface, and uh, because it's a four tip one, it actually swore the um, milk really nicely so uh, but uh, this is actually my second try trying to steam the milk right it may not be very ideal so please pardon me and I'll definitely try harder next time to get a better uh, consistency on the milk so let me pour the uh, espresso into the cup Right, so let me show you uh, a little bit of latte. I hope I can get some latte out of this situation. Right, I think I probably... Um, create too much bubbles on the milk let me show you yeah you can see that uh, on the surface there's quite a little big bubbles right uh, I still have to practice on my uh, frothing on the BBD plus but uh, on the whole I'm pretty happy about this machine and its capability uh, with with more practice and more darling I definitely can get a much uh, a much better form of the steaming uh, in the future so uh, stay tuned for more updates on the uh, Ascaso BBT plus right this is a machine from Spain Barcelona right uh, by the way this machine is actually certified uh, for cafe use right just like the uh, Lili, uh, sorry not Lili, the uh, La Mazzaco linear mini right both of them are actually certified for cafe use right not many machines are certified as commercial grade uh, this is definitely one of them so now is the time for us to try the coffee um, so 
just to a beautiful Sunday afternoon, right? The rain has stopped and the weather has changed. I'm actually waiting for two friends to drop by uh, to visit my showroom uh, and see whether they can resist the temptation of uh, buying something from me. <laughs> so cheers. Uh, I will see you very soon in the next video. Mm. Wow, the body is very good. Even with the milk, I can still taste uh, the coffee, uh, the chocolatey and the nutty feeling of the coffee. By the way, this is actually from the maximum class of Cafe Metella Roma, right? This is actually a perfect blend for latte, right? Normally for espresso, right? Uh, either I, I prefer the lighter rose because I like the acidity and the fruitiness in the cup, um, which uh, is probably not flavored by a lot of uh, my friends. Uh, but I, I, I just like it, right? But I also like chocolatey and nutty flavor uh, in from the Matella beans, right? So uh, thank you once again for watching my video, right? This is CUI once again. Uh, if you're first time joining my channel, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. And uh, yep, I have fun actually uh, trying to get the machine dialing in, right? Actually not dialing in, actually to play with the machine on video, right? For the first time. And definitely I will try to spend more time on the machine itself to give you more feedback on how the machine actually works and um, if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and like my videos and uh, remember to ring the bell if you want to stay updated in all our future video releases right so cheers stay safe and i'll see you very soon